Hi there. Now for this part of the question, we're asked to find the commutative distribution function capital F of x for all values of x. For this particular probability density function f of x. Now in order to do this, what I think you should do is to draw a sketch of the probability density function. I've done it earlier, it looks like this. So what you'll notice then is that we've got the intervals 0 to 1 where we've got 2x over 9. Linear function, when x is 0, it's at the origin. When x is 1, it's at 2 ninths, as you can see here. Then it stays at 2 ninths over the interval 1 to 4. And then again, we've got a linear function here. So when x is 4, 2 thirds minus 4 ninths gives you the 2 ninths. And when x is 6, 2 thirds minus 6 ninths gives you 0. And it's 0 otherwise. And you can see I've extended the outside the graph. So what do we mean by f of x, this capital F of x cumulative distribution function? Well, if you're unsure of this, do check this out on my video tutorials on my website. Essentially, what we're doing is we have to look at a value of x in each of these intervals. And f of x gives us the probability of being less than it. In other words, that's represented by the area to the left of x. So when x is in the interval 0 to 1, we're looking at trying to calculate that area there, which gives us the probability of being less than it. So we'll work through the diagram, and that's why I think it's important that we have a diagram here to appreciate what's going on. So start by looking at the first interval, and that's when x is defined over that interval there from 0 to 1 inclusive. So f of x being an area under graph, we can integrate the function that we've got here. So f of x then is going to be from 0 to x when we integrate this going from 0 to x and then we've got 2x over 9. So 2x over 9 that's integrated with respect to x. And if we do that, then we're going to get 2x squared over 18. And that's between the limits then, 0 2x. Substitute x for x, and you've got 2x squared over 18. Put 0 through you get naught. So you've got 2x squared over 18 minus naught. 2 eighteenths cancels down to 1 ninth. So you've got 1 ninth x squared there. OK, so that's our first interval. Now we have to go forward and think about x being in this interval in here between 1 and 4. So I'll just place it there. So f of x then will represent this area to the left of x. And what we've got to do is add the area of the triangle here to the area of the rectangle. We've got to do it in two parts. So we'll put up that interval, and that is when x lies between 1 and 4. So we've got x lying between 1 and 4. And so therefore, f of x is going to be the area of the triangle, first of all, say. And that's going to be, we, well, we, it being a geometrical shape, you could do half the base times the height. Or you could come up to this result here. It's going to be f of 1. Just put 1 in here, and it will give you the area to the left of when x was 1. So you're going to get 1 ninth. So 1 ninth for the area of that triangle, the probability of being less than 1. Now we've got to add the area of this rectangle here, which is going to be the height, which is 2 ninths for that, times the length, which is going to be x minus 1. So you've got 2 ninths times all of x minus 1. And we can expand this bracket, get 2 ninths x, and then We've got 1 ninth minus 2 ninths, so it's going to be minus 1 ninth. 
So that's our interval between 1 and 4. Moving on then, we'll just take that out and we'll put x now somewhere over here in the interval between 4 and 6. So carrying on then, all we've got to do is work out this area to the left of x. And we could do this in two ways. We could, in fact, just take the whole of the shape here, being a trapezium. That area comes to 1 for probability. And then subtract the area going from x to 6. So we'd integrate this going from x to 6. So that's one way. I'm not going to do it that way. You could try it. Check out that it agrees with my method, which is going to be the area of the triangle plus the area of the rectangle plus the area going from 4 to x under this line. So we need to set up our interval here and we'll say then that when x lies in the interval 4 to 6 inclusive, so 4 to 6 inclusive, and we've got f of x equals, well the area of the triangle we saw earlier was 1 ninth. The area of the rectangle is going to be 2 ninths times the length which is 3 units, so 2 ninths times 3. We could in fact have not done this. This comes to 1 ninth plus 6 ninths, a total of 7 ninths. We could have done it just by going up to here and plugging in x equals 4. f of 4 gives us the area, the probability in other words, of being less than 4. So it does take into account this triangle. So if you put 4 into here, you'll have 8 ninths minus 1 ninth, which is 7 ninths. Same as this, okay? So two ways of doing that part. But anyway, we've now got to add on the area of the shape here. So we've got plus, and this is going to be the integral of our function here, 2 thirds minus x over 9. That's integrated, all of it, so put in brackets there, with respect to x, going between 4 to x. So 4 to x. So here then, across these two terms, we've got 7 ninths. And then integrating these two terms here, 2 thirds becomes 2 thirds x, and minus x over 9 becomes minus x squared over 18. And that's between the limits then, 4 to x. Substitute your values in, and we've got for x going through, it's just going to be 2 thirds x minus x squared over 18. Put the 4 through and we've got to subtract 2 thirds times 4, that's going to be 8 thirds. And then we've got minus 4 squared over 18, that comes to 16 over 18. Work all of this out x terms we've just got 2 thirds x, x squared term is minus x squared over 18 and then for the constants it comes to minus 1. So that's those intervals, okay, those three intervals there. Don't forget you've got to take into account x being less than 0 and x being greater than 6. If you took any value of x less than 0, the probability of being less than 0 is 0. But if you take any value greater than 6, then the probability of being less than it, remember, is the area to the left, comes to 1. OK, so I haven't got much room to define now f of x, so what I'm going to do is remove this section here and then I'll write in f of x and it'll be in this format. So here it is. And just summarises then all the points that uh, we've just discussed. So I hope you've been able to get that. Do remember though, if you're unsure, do check out these video tutorials that I've got on my website.